This is my homemade mushroom liquid culture bioreactor bag. I normally grow mushroom liquid culture in jars with a magnetic stir bar and plate to break up the mycelium as it grows. But by using a filter patch bag, I can just massage the bag to break up the mycelium or agitate it on like a moving table back and forth instead of using a magnetic stir plate. And also the bags take up less space. To start making the mushroom liquid culture bioreactor bag, I add 2,400 milliliters of warm water to a filter patch bag that has a waterproof filter. I buy these specific bags from Amazon, so I'll make sure to leave a link for that in the description. So to make the liquid culture media, I'm using dextrose powder and soy peptone. I weigh out 48 grams of dextrose powder and 4 grams of soy peptone. I also got these two ingredients from Amazon, so I'll leave those links in the description as well. So I just add the mixture of soy peptone and dextrose into the warm water and let it dissolve. The next step is to sterilize the bag, so I put it inside of a pressure cooker with four jars of water on all corners to keep it supported, and then I add these little clips to the top fold of the bag to keep it shut. I pressure sterilize the bag at 15 psi for 25 minutes. I let the pressure cooker cool down naturally overnight. And in the morning, I remove the bag of liquid and use an impulse sealer to seal the top of the bag. I recommend to do this part in front of a laminar flow hood or inside of a still air box, just so you're not risking contaminating the bag before it's sealed. I impulse seal the bag twice, and when I'm impulse sealing it, after it is sealed, I don't lift the top right away. I let it completely cool down or else you're melting and ripping the plastic when you do that. Now that the bioreactor bag is pressure sterilized and sealed, it's time to inoculate it with mushroom liquid culture. I wipe the bag down with isopropyl alcohol and then I attach one of these sticky injection ports onto the bag. I inoculate the bag with the whole syringe just for the sake of time. You could get away with uh, 2 milliliters and it will just take longer to grow. After inoculating the bag, I just set it on a shelf in a warm room around 75 degrees Fahrenheit and let the mycelium grow. Then every day or two, I'll just agitate the bag by splashing it back and forth. After about one week, I could already see the mycelium growing more and more each day. And after one month, the mycelium had almost completely colonized the whole bag of liquid. Now that the bioreactor bag has grown enough mycelium, I had to test the liquid and make sure that it's not contaminated. I wiped the injection port down with isopropyl alcohol and then I use an empty sterile syringe and needle to extract a little bit of the liquid from the bag.
so I just put a few drops of the syringe on each of the agar plates and then I'll use some parafilm to seal the plates and incubate them for about one week to see if any contamination shows up on the agar plates. After seven days of incubating the agar plates, there was no signs of bacteria, yeast, or mold, only the healthy growth of mushroom mycelium. So this means the mushroom liquid culture bioreactor bag was a success for me, and I probably start making a lot more of these. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this one.